My name is Allison Campolo and I'm running for Texas State Senate District 10. My name is Beverly Powell and I'm running to defeat Connie Burton in the State Senate District 10 race. Yeah, I know I look young, and I am young, and I, I understand that. There's a maturity issue that comes with time. You know, people are ready for a fresh face of the party. We are done with politics as usual. That comes with having served in public office. The status quo is not working, and I think some folks are sort of um, interested in somebody who hasn't been doing the games that we've been playing. I think I'm for sure more a Hillary type candidate. I voted for Bernie Sanders in the primary and then I voted for Hillary Clinton in the general. I've lived a life of public service. But I wouldn't identify with Bernie. I mean, I'm not an independent, I'm a Democrat. This is a time for women candidates to shine. I don't know, there's a lot of good folks in the Senate, maybe an Elizabeth Warren, uh, Kristen Gillibrand, Timmy Duckworth, some of those kinds of folks. We're realizing that endorsements and just plain old funding are not uh, really the um, magic genie to predict a race that they might have used to been. Those folks have great trust in our campaign and they have trust in me. That's what the voters need to understand from our endorsements. If endorsements and, and fundraising were the most important things, for instance, Jeb Bush would have won his primary, Hillary Clinton would have won the general, Luther Strange would have won his primary. Those are the things that are going to catapult us over the finish line, both in March and in November. I think it's time for complete reform of how we fund public education. Our property taxes are paying for over half of our public education bill, and that's just inappropriate. I think it's time for us to focus on teacher pay and benefits. Not only is that inappropriate to the taxpayers, but it's also still drastically underfunding our public education. It's clear that we need to move away from any consideration of vouchers and charters. It's now just a hodgepodge of equations and band-aids that really don't make any sense anymore or they're not doing a good job. I really don't like to talk about Donald Trump, but I think Donald Trump is really a big reason for the, uh, the surge of women running. Women uh, are standing up and saying it is time for a compassionate form of governance. We need to move beyond this misogynistic um, divisive and a discriminatory form of governance that we're in right now. I believe that it's time for a change, especially in the state of Texas. I feel like uh, Senator Burton doesn't really use a lot of um, what I would consider rational logic. We have to move from this narrow ideological um, governance model that we're in to a model that's based on common sense and good judgment. The huge majority of her campaign is funded by folks who don't live in Tarrant County. I have a clear understanding of our district. That's something that I don't think Connie can say. Both Beverly and I are going to be excellent choices to exceed Connie Burton in the Senate seat.